Hey everybody, it's Tim again, and I have yet another review from the stop-motion animated world of Tim Burton. Of course, I recently reviewed the drawing model, uh, Jack Skellington from NECA, the 9-inch figure. Previously, I reviewed uh, the Funko Pops exclusive for ha uh, Spirit Halloween uh, of uh, Corpse Bride and Victor. Now today, I have something from Super 7. These actually came out over a year ago. But uh, finally getting around to reviewing them. They look so great on the card. I'm an opener, so I guess I'm finally going to make that sacrifice and open the cards to show you this uh, cool release. Only three figures. Uh, General Wellington, Emily, the Corpse Bride, and Victor from the film. Of course, the film came out in 2005. It's hard to believe it's been almost 20 years already. Uh, there have been some collectibles that have come out, not nearly as much for uh, a Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, but I've managed to get a few. If you can see up top here from June Planning, I have like a mini diorama there of the Corpse Bride as she meets Victor and how her arm snaps off, etc., etc. In the back, you're going to see this animated films of Tim Burton's sign. That's actually the cover of my ebook. First time I interviewed Tim Burton was for Corpse Bride. So that's why this film is near and dear to my heart. And anytime any Corpse Bride collectible comes out, I got to have it. So this was a no-brainer getting these from Super 7. They ran about $20 a piece, but look at beautiful cards, right? On the card, the card design, it's got the title treatment, it has everything. Uh, I will say that as a collector of the McFarland stuff, that came out when Corpse Bride was released almost 20 years ago, it's far superior than that. I mean, the whole idea behind Super 7 is to give you that retro three and three quarter inch uh, figure carded feel. So, you know, you get what you get. Again, a lot of times most people display these things and they don't take them out of the package. But I'm going to take them out of the package for you quickly. Looking at the accessories, General Wellington has a booze bottle and a mug. Corpse Bride has her bouquet and Victor has his dog. So let's take a quick look at the back of these cards. Three photos of them, vintage-like photos, which are really cool. You know, I'm really hoping that Super 7 does a, a, a second series of these. Obviously, they've done a lot of A Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, but they haven't, you know, uh, they, they've only done this one wave of Corpse Bride figures, and of course, there are so many other great characters in the film. Fortunately for us collectors of Corpse Bride stuff, McFarlane, you know, they created an array of characters, both in uh, four-inch scale and about uh, six inch scale or so. And again, I have all this sort of stuff, but as you can see, I have limited space. So uh, I didn't drag all that stuff out for you to see. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to take these figures out of the package and we're going to get a look at Tim Burton's Corpse Bride figures from Super 7. Okay, I'm back with the unpackaged version of Super 7's Corpse Bride figures. Uh, if you can find these, because again, it's been about a year, um, you can get them at some online retailers. I think the toughest one to get at this point is actually Emily, the Corpse Bride figure. I I've seen um, General Wellington at retail yet, hanging on the pegs at Target. Uh, occasionally I'll see a, uh, a Victor, um, but getting Corpse Bride's a little bit more difficult, so you might have to go to the secondary market to get her. Um, but as you can see, she stands the easiest because of her skirt. Um, you know, it's molded to the ground and therefore just really easy to stand. Now let's try to get a close-up of her, her here. And as you can see, she has the Tim Burton character eyes that have come to define so many characters. Of course, Jack Skellington didn't have any eyes, but certainly, uh, you know, Victor and Emily did in Corpse Bride, as did uh, Victor Frankenstein in Frankenweenie, uh, as well as Frankenweenie, the puppy um, Sparky himself. So 
Uh, you know, the hair is the same uh, color scheme, the blue hair, which is really, really cool. And of course, here, this is the veil in back. Okay, and you got the dress. You can't necessarily see the legs, but of course, with Corpse Bride, one of the legs is uh, a human leg and the other one's a bone. And really, there's just no way of prying that apart. There you can see how this, the skeleton leg there, if you really look. But that's obviously the sort of detail that you're going to get with the McFarlane figure. Um, so, you know, again, here, this is supposed to be the whole retro thing. Five points of articulation. In this case, it's actually less than that because you got one, two points of articulation. And again, I don't even know if you can move the legs. I think this is just meant to stand. I think really with Super 7, their whole idea is to just go with the carded look. Because obviously, <laughs> when we collected classic figures back in the day, what did we do? We ripped them off the cards. And then the ones that became valuable were the ones that stayed on the card. So I think this is for the on-the-card collector set. Not necessarily the people like me who unbox everything. I don't regret taking this out for one second, but that's what you get here. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get this a little bit closer with uh, Victor and General Wellington. Of course, you see the big hole in the middle of General Wellington because uh, he took a cannon to the chest in his previous life. Uh, and again, this is a character without eyes, but uh, that's because he's from the land of the dead. There are other characters without eyes, uh, just empty sockets uh, down in the land of the dead. Of course, Victor is... From the land of the living, the black and white, uh, you know, d damper scheme, color scheme, land of the living. Uh, and again, you can see with Victor's eyes, he definitely has the Tim Burton look. Now, again, it's not black and white in the land of the living entirely, but as you can see, it's just darker, uh, earthier color schemes. You know, the brown vest, the black, the grays. And uh, down below here, we got Sparky who, apart from Corpse Bride, this one sits pretty well. Um, at the bottom of these figures, there are no peg holes, really. Uh, so that's what makes it more difficult uh, to pose. You know, even if you did have three and three quarter inch scale figure stands, you're more than likely not going to, and I can't really get that focus, but you're not going to get uh, them posed on the stand. Victor... Probably, just like Jack Skellington, probably the most difficult one to pose. And there, see, there we go. That's just an example of how tough it is to keep these things standing. Um, but, uh, and see, now Sparky doesn't, uh, not Sparky, uh, Bones. Did I say, did I say Scraps? Did I say uh, Sparky before? Probably when I was talking about Frank and Weenie. This is Scraps. My apologies. So, again, the fabric underneath the stand is making it a little bit more difficult but you can indeed stand this figure. It just takes a little bit. There you go. Now, talking again about the points of articulation, let's go over that with these. You do have the five points here. You have the neck. You have the arms that move. Two, three, and the legs, I guess you could say this is more like four points because these legs both move together. This is one piece all together. Here's a look at the back of the Victor figure. They look delicate like they're breakable, but not really. I mean, this is good quality stuff. You know, again, they are going more with the retro look. The 1970s, 1980s carded look. But I will say I love the likenesses. Again, nothing near to the point of what you get with the McFarlane three and three quarter or four inch figures. But, you know, for what it's worth, it's pretty good. Now I'm going to see if I can get him to stand in the background while I get General Wellington up here holding his mug. Again, five points of articulation. A little tougher to get this one to go. Maybe this is not five points. Okay, so his arm is is molded that way. Here you got the bottle that you can remove, and you can remove the mug as well. You can turn his head. Uh, you can move the legs. 
So these are more like two to three, one to three points of articulation figure. I should say two to three points of articulation. Let's see if we can get a cool shot here. Yeah, right there. Right through uh, the hole in the chest, you can see Victor in the back. Okay, again, I like the qualities again for these. You are paying $20 after all, so hopefully you're going to get some quality, not something that looks like it's straight out of the 80s. I know some people like that kind of stuff. Uh, I, I like the fact that they're giving us that 80s nostalgic feel, that 70s Star Wars carded nostalgic feel, but yet the figures themselves are actually really, really decent quality. And there you go. And let's turn this guy around. Same thing. It looks like we got scraps through the uh, hole in the background that's taking away the focus. And obviously I have pictures uh, throughout as I usually do just to give closer up deals because focusing can be a problem when you're when you're dealing with more. There we go. More than one thing in the field of depth and things in the background taking away the focus, etc., etc. I'm not a professional photographer, so what do I know? I just try to do my best and hopefully recommend to you, like I will for this particular release, to buy it if you can find it. I mean, I just like the fact that, you know, nearly 15 years after the release, I'm going to move this stuff, after the release of Corpse Bride, we are still seeing this stuff coming out. That's a very, very good sign. Personally, I would love to see more Frankenweenie stuff come out, and I do have stuff from The Bridge Direct who actually produced that stuff back in the day. So I was lucky enough to grab it when it was available because I would imagine it is pretty spendy stuff. But again, right now, you can latch onto these for 20 bucks a piece. You know, maybe a little bit cheaper some other places. Again, I've seen them at uh, retail. But, you know, just search your secondary market. Hopefully, it's not going to be too terribly much. Um, but, you know, again, Corpse Bride, it's, it, what I love is that it really is increasing in popularity. You know, it's available, uh, you know, Victor and Emily are available as uh, Halloween costumes, which is cool. You know, you go to a Spirit Halloween store, and they have a lot of different corpse bride things again it's never going to outnumber the nightmare before christmas stuff but it's glad that the uh that the film because it it, it is really a classic film you know it, it's great to see that it's giving getting the love uh that it deserves of course you can read more about tim's stop motion films in my ebook direct conversations the animated films of tim burton and here's just a I always get the glare, but this is the cover of the ebook. I had a metal sign made that I can hold up uh, and show you, but again, I'll include the address below to order these, as well as links to um, where you can buy the Super 7 figures of Corpse Bride. There we go. Let's see, give it one more shot. There we go. So my name is Tim Lammers, and I review cool movie toys. And uh, please like this video. Please tell all your Corpse Bride loving friends, all your Tim Burton loving friends, and I'll be back with another review very soon. Happy toy hunting, everybody.